Hi guys, Kurt Provost here, your guide to all things new skin. Today's just going to be a quick video to answer the question that's popping up now that the Wellspa IO is launching around the world. And that question is, what's the difference between the Wellspa and the Body Spa? Because <laughs> this is what many of you know, like and love, you're using it, have been for many years now. And you're probably wondering, do I really need the Wellspa? What's the difference anyway? Is it just kind of like an upgraded version like they did with the Lumi Spa with IO uh, connectability? Or are there other differences? So hopefully we can answer that right now. Keep in mind that this is just my personal interpretation. It's for entertainment value. I'm not speaking on behalf of NuSkin and uh, NuSkin never makes any claims to treat, cure, mitigate any diseases. So now that I've got that don't sue me disclaimer out of the way, hopefully we can progress without the videos being taken down. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, I'm in Australia and so we're calling it the Wellspa IO here. I do know that in different markets it goes by different names. So you might hear it the New Wave, uh, Renew or Body IO. Whatever you're calling it, just keep in mind that here we're calling it Wellspa. So let's run with that. Uh, there are three key differences between these two devices. The first one is the microcurrent that they're using. The second one is uh, the physical aspect of it and the third one is the ingredients of what they're actually driving into the skin or helping to deliver into the, the tissue. So let's run through those and then I'll run through at the end very quickly hopefully uh, what the Wells Bar is and what it's doing in totality. So first off they are using different microcurrents so if you take a look at this picture here you'll notice that there are different microcurrents being used for each device. And now a microcurrent is simply, as the name suggests, a very small microelectric current. And it's turned out uh, that that is quite beneficial for the skin in a number of different ways. You can just go Google what those are, but uh, there are many different types of microcurrent and they come in different strengths, different shapes, and they do slightly different things for the skin. And the cool thing about new skin is we've got different microcurrents for each of our devices. So the Galvanic Spa is using a Galvanic microcurrent current and uh, that is a one directional current that is great for driving ingredients really deep into the skin and then you'll notice in the corner there that the body spa is actually using a pulsing microcurrent uh, like a, a wave like microcurrent and uh, it doesn't change it doesn't vary so the key difference here is that the well spa is also using a pulsing uh, microcurrent but it's an adaptive microcurrent and that is thanks to advances in technology because this device has sensors in it that are monitoring over 150 different things per second, that's quite an achievement, and adjusting the microcurrent uh, to act accordingly. So they want to maintain the microcurrent in the optimum range the entire way through the treatment. And in order to do that, they have to monitor and get a lot of feedback. Is uh, the skin thicker here? Is there, there more tissue there? Is there fat tissue? Is there uh, the muscles there, what fluid like is beneath the surface, all of those things, how fast are you moving it, have you taken it off the skin, everything like that is getting uh, recorded and it's adjusting automatically. So in order to do that they had to have much more advanced technology and so that's kind of the, the key difference right there and what that means for us in a, a simple sense is that it maintains that microcurrent in the optimum range always for each individual. So this is a microcurrent that is personally tailored to you to get the best possible result because your skin is different to my skin. And so the treatment that we require is gonna be slightly different. Whereas with the Body Spa, technology wasn't advanced enough to do that. This is an incredible device. It gets great results for tightening and toning the skin. It works great on cellulite, all these different things but the current is not able to adapt and change. It's just a constant strength. That also brings me into the second key difference and that's the physical aspect. So 
In order to conduct the microcurrent on the galvanic body spar, you have to hold your fingers on these little metal tabs that you see here on either side. And that would look something like this. And what that would mean is you tend to slip if you've got a lot of gel uh, on your fingers there. It's, it's a very rather precarious uh, hold that you have over the device. And that makes it difficult to be doing the treatment. Also, you'll notice that it's a flat surface. So it's got those grooves in it to help uh, distribute the, the gel effectively. But when you look at our body, our bodies aren't flat. They're not perfectly smooth, flat surfaces. I mean, that's the whole reason that we're using the body spar in the first place. And so it's not designed to cover all the curves and bumps and grooves of our individual bodies. I've got quite a few sharp edges that this doesn't go around so well. And that is a big difference when you have a look at the well spa uh, metal nodes that they have. They are totally different to the body spa and they actually are patent pending. Also the smart adaptive technology that enables this to monitor the skin and adjust the current slowly, not too fast, so that it doesn't create any irritation and it keeps it in that optimum range. That's also patent pending. So uh, that's a big difference right there. They're designed to be massaging physically uh, as you're moving it around your body. Whereas this is designed to drive the ingredients into the skin, but not have that physical uh, aspect to it that the well spa does as well. It also means that the current is remaining constant because it just fits the grooves of your body much better. And I've been using it on my shoulder to really free things up after working out and getting very tight on this side. And uh, I'm finding that it's just much easier to move that around. Also, it designed kind of like a, a door handle, I guess you'd say, a doorknob to hold onto this. It's covered in a silicon matte finish that is uh, non-slip, so it's it feels lovely. You'll understand when you get one. Uh, most people, I put it in their hands. It's only 120 grams, so it's very light, but they just kind of they just want to pat it. It feels like this little pet robot. Uh, they've done a fantastic job on the finishes of this and it makes it much more ergonomic uh, in the design of how you can use it. I think uh, much fewer people are going to be dropping these devices because of this design, which is a big bonus because this is high tech in here. You do not want to drop it. So that's the physical differences right there. You will have another look. It's just very, very different. And as a result, gonna have better results with the well spa. Uh, same thing with the microcurrent because it's providing you the optimum range that's personally tailored just for you and it's making sure that it's always staying in that range, you're gonna get better results with the well spa. And that brings me to the final point, which is uh, what is it that these devices are helping to infuse into the skin? So what, what are the ingredients that they're using along with it? So the body shaping gel, that blue tube that you see there has been doing a fantastic job of helping to uh, break down those stubborn pockets of fat that we call cellulite, tightening and toning the skin, of the age lock blend in there so it's working on an epigenetic level to make sure that your genes are expressing themselves in the most youthful fashion possible so that's fantastic it's been a great product also it's been using uh, dermatic effects afterwards as the daily treatment what's cool with the wellspar is you're going to keep the dermatic effects side of things because that can still be used as the daily treatment the wellspar comes with three different products that uh, you're going to be using with the skin the first one is the body polish now i have done a video on that that you can check out here um, that shows runs through very quickly what the differences are between uh, the old body loofah that we used to use and the new body polish that we're going to be using. The next one is we have the activating gel and then we have the body serum. So what they're doing is using a number of different ingredients to work on a different level because this is where the well spa really starts to shine and overtake the body spa, uh, leave it kind of in the dust. And that is that it's not just going to be tightening and toning the body. So in order to tighten tone the, the skin, you use the serum and that's doing what the body spa used to do but on a whole nother level it's got um, the hydrating blend with it it's got the body silhouette blend so help tighten everything up a mix of all these different botanicals that are quite potent and then here's the key point of difference the well spa does two 
additional things to what the body spa used to be doing. So the two additional things are, number one, it's helping to relax and uh, promote and stimulate the recovery of the muscles. And that's helping to stimulate uh, the release of beta endorphins. So helping to feel good, ease pain, and also helping to boost cellular energy within the muscles so that uh, you kind of limber and warmed up. So you can use it both before a workout and after a workout to stimulate the recovery and enhance the recovery and then the big one is that it is restoring so they're calling that um the de-puffing of the body. So it's using botanical ingredients to help uh, stimulating circulation. Uh, it's assisting with things like the, the lymph fluid or the lymphatic system within our body, circulatory system. All these things are on the wellness side and that's something that we could never really talk about before with the body spa. So those are the the three points of difference there, uh, it's the microcurrent is different, the physical aspects of these devices are, are totally different, and the ingredients or the products that are being used with them are totally different as well. And the three things that the Well Spa is doing is it's doing the old job of the body spa, which is uh, to revitalize the skin, to help tighten and tone everything, uh, help with things like cellulite and uh, just really smoothing out the skin. But it's also helping to relax the muscles, stimulate recovery. So for all those who are working out, this is gonna be a great device for you. And then the final thing, and I believe the most important thing is helping to uh, encourage a wellness aspect. So it's helping with the lymphatic system and circulatory system and things like that. At least that's my interpretation of it. So my name is Kurt Provost. I am your guide to all things new skin. I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, if you're wondering which one you should get, I would definitely encourage you to get this one. It uh, beats the body spa on all accounts. Uh, but if you have one of these, it doesn't mean you instantly throw it out because it's still a great product and it will still get you results. It's just as soon as you can, I would upgrade to this one because it's working on so many other levels. So if you want to get your hands on this, uh, then you can reach out and I'll find out when it's arriving in your market. If you're looking at that going, that's an incredible piece of technology and I would love to partner with this company to help launch this because I know a bunch of people that would like the benefits that you just spoke about, Kurt. How do I do that? So glad you asked because I am actively expanding my business around the world and I'm looking for great people to partner with like yourself. So uh, you can find my details at the end. My email is uh, kurtnewskin at gmail.com and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. So I look forward to chatting to you there and I'll see you in a new video. If you haven't subscribed yet, by the way, uh, many people watching these videos are not yet subscribed, which means you're missing out on over 200 other product and business related videos that can help you understand the incredible gifts that we have with this company just a little bit better. So be sure to click that thumbs up and go over and click the subscribe button too. Ciao guys.